In the upper left, in the red. We have our Zerg player against all odds. In the upper right, the legend of Rude War. He is. KT Roster Flash. All right. Look out, Flash! <laughs> He's so good. He's all right. Yeah, somehow that no splash damage on the SCV. Yeah. Um, Okay, okay. So, I'm. That's a gas going up. Mm hmm. That's a very early gas going up. It's 13 mm -hmm. gas stasis. Could we that's just a see pool. a baneling bust? Mm hmm. Just gonna go speedling baneling or something? Mm hmm. I think so. Could be. Thing is, there is a Reaper opening coming. So, uh, this is something he can get in there and scout. Yeah, um. I don't blame DRG at all for doing this build. I really don't. Uh, if he wants to go for a quick win here, I think he knows Flash is probably in a little bit better shape, maybe a lot better shape. I think DRG played that last game, though, very well. But this is the map that Flash picks. I think he always picks this map, TVZ, doesn't he? So far, yeah. Yeah. He certainly has. Well, he picked it in the round of 32, though, didn't he? I think he did. Oh, let me think. Uh, Sorry to put you on the spot he here, I believe. the round of 32? I believe he 4 0'd. Against Did a he? couple Zergs. Maybe somebody I, else picked them. I don't I know. Okay, so. Some, I, I, I might yeah. be totally wrong here, but... Okay, so we have Ling Sweet coming. Oh, only Ling Sweet. Okay, he's not going for Banelings. Uh, that's kind of interesting. We'll see what he does with this. Like, he could make a medium amount of Lings, just catch the Reaper, so that he could go for, like, a a quicker other tech. Like, we used to see a lot of Roach okay, attacks. Let's see here. The Command Center is going to go down here. Oh, he's going to force yeah. a cancel. Yeah. And he's going to keep making Lings for now. No, I don't think he wants to show these links just yet. Yeah, you know what? This oh actually, he's God. really smart because every this game. This is so smart. Every game, DRG has just sat out front with his. I mean, uh, Flash has sat out front with his Reaper yeah, against he DRG. Does, he doesn't actually. Uh, oh God, I didn't even in. think of that. This is so smart. Yeah, DRG is all over the nerd, super intelligent. All over the world, nerds right now are shaking their monitors going, Look out, Flash! <laughs> they are so but worried. But guess what, guys? Flash can't hear you right now. If I hope hard enough, you'll know this is coming and make a bunker. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, he has a Reaper. He's not going to, like, bust down the wall, most likely. But, look, this is, this is really, really This is a really, really smart build, man. Yeah, he is. This is why DRG is a champion. Oh, my God. He knows that Flash is like a robot at times, and he's trying to abuse it. This is a lot of speedlings being oh, made right man. now. The Reaper's in the middle of the map. Oh he's going to get the command center right before it finishes. He oh, my God. No idea. Oh. He might get up the ramp. He might get up the ramp, Tasteless. This might lift here off. Here they this, come. Oh, if he tries to go up there, he, oh, he doesn't go up there. But he gets okay. the Marines here on the low ground. That's a big deal as well. I think there's a very good chance he forces a, a cancel here, Tasteless. Oh, man. You know, if he had gone straight up the ramp, Talk who knows? about hard countering Flash's build. I mean, well, Flash has played so well today, but DRG uh, just took the information. All right, and came but, up with this counter build. Now, he's going to restart the command center. Uh, Flash is safe in his main. He's totally mm -hmm. safe. DRG does, has to go macro mode from here, right? I guess he could go for an all-in, and there's no way for Flash to really tell. Oh, wow, that was... I guess that wasn't risky because his Reaper's down there, but like, if all the Lings ran up right there, the oh, game yeah, would Oh, yeah, that's ended. it. Uh, okay, so Flash can't really tell if DRG's going to do some crazy all-in. Like, he could just go Banelings from here or something, but... Obviously, once you get a decent number of Hellions out, that's not going to be good anymore. Looks like he has a little trap set up so that when anything comes out, he can just surround it completely. So things like small groups yeah. of Hellions won't work as well. I, like I think he's going to send the Lings up here next. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to get a little catch there. Uh, okay, so that was a pretty big interruption there uh, for Flash. Flash getting a good group of units here. Uh, definitely a drone lead we see uh, being taken by DRG. Of course, Flash's command center is pretty slow here. And mining, of course, from the natural going to be even slower. That's that's all he's trying to do here. He knows he's not actually going to hold this forever. He's just trying to slow it down as much yeah. as possible. Well, I think that's really smart. I mean, really, at this point in time, Flash probably was so caught off guard by what DRG did at the start of this game. Yeah. I'm sure he's still confused as to what uh, DRG is going to do next. 
You're saying, you know? I mean, I guess he could have done some weird bandling thing, but he didn't. But I mean, the Ling's out there. It's got to be uh, keeping that idea of present inside Flash's mind. Then he just gets out when he's like, okay, yeah, this is just not safe anymore. You know, macro and and micro and timings, all this are not the only things in StarCraft Two. You also you need to sometimes outsmart your opponent. That's what DRG has done so far this game. But the the thing is, Flash is is going to come in with his macro like a hammer. And is DRG going to be able to hold this off long term? I don't know. Uh, we saw SOS couldn't do it on this map. The Lings are coming down now. Creep spread very good. Uh, DRG definitely has, the, definitely, excuse me, has the lead mm -hmm. that he needed. Because um, I think if these guys go neck and neck, it's it's going to be a tough one for uh, you know, DRG yeah. to win. But this is definitely the advantage that Flash needs. Or uh, DRG needs, excuse me. Yeah, going neck and neck, it's it, flash against anyone is like a mama giraffe versus a baby giraffe. So, you know, <laughs> both have very long necks, but mama like giraffe wins in that fight, I guess. Yeah, I mean, a baby giraffe is a baby, so what yeah. do you want? Yeah. We got. Well, I guess Sue is actually the papa giraffe. He's a little bit taller. I think Sue is like the giraffe god. He's like the Xerxes giraffe. He's like way taller, and his entire neck is like filled up with those like metal things around it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, almost catches that. <laughs> That's a good Reaper right there. Yeah, nice save there. He gets it out. Yeah, we do have the Carapace on the way. He's got to start that melee attack, too. He There's a possibility here He's he made a mistake and, like, started melee in the same Evo. Or he tried to start melee and didn't have the money. The thing is, if he actually completely forgets it, if one of these mistakes happen where he thinks it's going... Yeah, and it's just not. Like, he's moving so fast right now, guys. Like, if you look at these APM types, DRG is one of the fastest players. Okay, he is super fast at this game, and if he thinks it's going, he's not going to check again. He's got other stuff to do. So, and this is like a haunting way to lose a, yeah. a series. Okay, especially. he starts melee. Okay, he's fine. That's, that but it definitely a was a mistake. Way to go down. Definitely now, was a mistake. Here's going to be the point of contention uh, on the map. Is going to be this mm -hmm. fourth base here for Zerg. Most of this game is going to be Terran pushing that fourth base, and the Zerg trying to keep it alive. This is basically how Flash has won yeah. all his games on this map. There's some things to keep in mind here. If we compare this game directly, other than the opener where DRG got ahead, other than that, uh, if we compare it to Sue versus Flash, everything that DRG is doing is a little bit worse than Sue's. He doesn't yeah. have the macro hatch in the way. His plus one uh, melee attack is a little bit slow as well. Uh, the creep spread is very good, though. But just those two parts are very important, because without that macro hatch, he doesn't have quite as many units as Sue has. OK, Ooh. this is uh, not a bad engagement here for Flash at all. Uh, yeah, he I even mean, knew when to not move those Hellions away. He's like, no, this will come up favorably for me. Look at that. He popped here. them in the medevac to save two that are like at one Zergling hit from death. Yeah. That's a lot of Lings to go down to nothing. DRG, though, he still has a lot of Lings. Uh, he's going to have his bailing speed very quickly. Of course, he has a ton of drones because he has uh, really pumped his economy He's going to start this push, man. And that was a lot of Lings he killed back there. It was. These are all um, Hellbats here. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be pretty tough for DRG now. Which the drop is being uh, pushed back, but that's actually totally fine. He can just drop with the rest of this uh, army and start focusing down the fourth base. This is uh, now this is tough, man. It's, Sue it's, fell to this immediately. Well, no, Sue, yeah, Sue lost. And the expansion, GRG's yeah. actually out of position. I, I don't know if this base is going to live. It may. He has banning yeah. speed. He does have that plus one. Uh, Carapace. He also He's about has to have plus seven mutalisks about to pop out too. Yeah, these are all good things. A scan here. Ooh. It's a tough one. Here he comes down the ramp. Scanning again, getting rid of these creep tumors. Means he can come back in a little bit. Uh, just gathering up right now. Notice that how cautious Flash is. Flash is not going to move in unless he's 100% sure uh, that he can actually you know, yield the results. We got uh, him regrouping now over here. It's 160 supply to 153. A lot more banelings are being made. Mm -hmm. Really solid drone count, so the economy of DRG doing very well so far. Is he just going to hold on to this fourth? It looks like a counterattack when Flash oh is a bit God. out of position Wait, is going on. I think he's going to be able to get the SCVs. Oh, oh my boy. God. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. This is so bad. <laughs> a lot of Lings are dying, though, over there. Oh, God. Oh, That's man. actually a bit sloppy. That's... Oh, it's a huge chunk of army. 
Okay, now uh, he's got to make DRG. a lot of banes at home. Yeah, DRG just. Oh my God! I was gonna say he's gonna run back home, but now he's just gonna go up into the main. There's nothing here, Artosis. Okay, listen. If he holds this counterattack from Flash, he's in fantastic he shape. He should be ready to win. The uh, counterattack is coming though. It would be take a lot of bane links to hold this. And that's exactly what DRG is making, but is it uh, enough? Only 24 so far. And a lot of Hellbats here in the front. He needs a, some good connections coming up here. Let's see. The Banelings starting to split up, going two directions. Kills off a big chunk of the army. Oh, my God. Flash completely wrecked that. Well, yeah, he sells quite a few units left over. This is a scary one. In the meantime, the Mute is still over there trying to harass. Another set of units comes up. A lot of Banelings rolling through right now. Can Flash hang on? He's still got a lot of medevacs here. There's still a Thor present. We don't see any reinforcements coming, though. And back here, the third base is not being mined from. Wow, DRG with some great plays. Still the fourth base under attack for Flash. More units rallying out at the moment. Some mutas going over here, targeting down these, uh, these medevacs. And it looks like this attack is done. Now, Flash only has 35 SCVs against 72 drones. DRG has successfully held the fourth while oh hurting his economy. Oh my god, DRG is oh. killing all these medevacs. Oh, I'm getting some this nerd chills, Tasteless. really scary. 138 supply to 83. The fourth base is stabilized. Uh, he just needs to get some drones there, but it, I mean, he's not going to lose that hatch in the next push or two. I don't think so. Flash is doing nothing but pushing. He stopped making SCVs. He said, this is it. I'm going to win by making nothing but army. Here come the Banelings rolling in, taking out the Hellbats, oh my going God, after you Marines. Know he got those Banelings to cancel, but there's still enough there to hold this off. Oh, my God, Tasteless. This is so bad for Flash. And you even just saw on Flash's face. Yeah. A little bit of frustration there. No doubt. He I knows that from DRG here it's almost impossible. DRG. <laughs> He's actually going to beat Flash. He That's right. did GG. DRG takes out Flash, proving he is still relevant. He is still a top end player. And he is still clearly worthy of the round of eight in the GSL Code S. No questions about it, Tasteless. DRG is a literal god. Unbelievable. I, I, wow. I mean, just wow. The one like, true dong. That was so, so impressive there. Um, Let's all just try to look as smug as possible at this point. Uh... <laughs> I was so sure that um, the Flash would win on that map specifically. I was so DRG knows his stuff, man. He is a smart player. He's a brainy player. He showed it time and again. He chose a perfect strategy based on what Flash kept doing, yeah. which is sitting that Reaper at home. He never scouted what was going on. DRG gained that advantage, and he just pushed it to the limits. I really liked that uh, when he hit the third base, I thought the Mutas were going to go back around and get ready to defend. I thought so, too. And then... Uh, it was a little bit of a risk. I don't believe he knew for sure there were no turrets there, but when he got up there and there were no turrets there... That's I mean, where he's like, okay, if I hold that fourth, I win. That's two bases that <laughs> you're not mining from. Yeah, yeah. He killed and, so many SCVs. And at that point in time, I mean, it, it's debatable. He could have still lost the, the uh, fourth hatch and, and won the game, but yeah. he didn't lose the fourth hatch. Uh, he was making enough of the Banelings not by the fourth. Yeah. Uh, he was making them far back enough. We saw some moments where he was making some there, but he, was, he had enough there that uh, there was not really any risk of, of the bailings getting canceled. So, I mean, how DRG far won? can DRG, DRG go? Won? He's against Innovation next. That's what happened. You saw it. We casted it. That's yeah. what happened. Innovation is uh, obviously a great Terran player as well, but uh, I'm just saying, man, this, who knows how far he can go now? Uh, he, well, he you can saw the innovation. smile on his face. He's done it before. He can do it again. DRG <laughs> and Sue, the colors of the righties are in blue. That's because they just moved on to the round of <laughs> Listen, DRG is like the most impressive guy, okay? He is an original StarCraft yeah. 2 player. Yes, he played StarCraft 1, but he wasn't like a Kespa guy that switched over later. He is yeah. an original one. He is the only one that made it into Code S this season that didn't join a Kespa team. All the other original StarCraft 1 guys, people like Parting, Maru, Hurricane, they all joined Kespa teams. This is the one guy that doesn't need a Kespa team in the world. I want to put that out there. Everyone else is from Kespa or of Kespa at this point. We have DRG, so godly. Just unbelievable, man. It's incredible. Here is the round of eight. Cure against Solar. Innovation against DRG, Zest against Rain, and Stats against Sue. Couldn't ask for a better top eight.
This is going to be insane. There are no games next week, by the way, guys. It is Chuseok in uh, Korea. That's Korean Thanksgiving. And Everybody you know what? Everybody goes and sees their families while Tasis and Artosis stay in their apartments and play video games all day. All of these players are going to be practicing like crazy. Yeah. They have so much time to prepare for these matches. These are going to be the best matches you've ever seen. The best matches you've ever seen. The amount of preparation going in. So. Every match is going to be a best of five. Uh, as you can see here, September 17th is going to be the top part of this group, and the bottom part is going to be on Friday, September 19th. So don't miss out. It's going um, to be awesome. What an amazing GSL this has been. I am so happy right now. This we're is only fantastic. just now going to the round of eight, so there's like so many more sick games that are going to happen. Well, guys, uh, don't forget WCS going yep. on over in Europe. As you can see here, Golden, Crass, Nurcio, and Daishi. Oh, that's one of my favorite little Terran nerds right there. Uh, that's that's definitely something you want to check out on September 8th at 1800 CEST. I don't know what day of the week it is here, so I certainly don't know when it is in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and definitely um, participate in all of the prize uh, giveaways we have. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the studio here, don't leave. I don't know if anybody has their headsets in because they normally Yeah, they might take it the out. They might be like, oh, I don't want to hear them the talk about, you know. How, who won and stuff. Um, but look, stay here if you're already here for the Ace of Strong. And of course, guys, uh, make sure you take part in uh, our little contest that we have on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash official EXP. Yes. I'm going to go home and go to bed. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Do not miss out on the round of eight. We love you. Good night. There's a fire in your heart, a spirit within. There's a yearning that's deep in your soul And it's driving you